This video shows the steps required to replace the brake drum on a BPW drum brake axle. The tool table shows the tools required to complete the task and to set up the brakes correctly afterwards. In addition, you will require brake cleaner solution and some rags. Raise the road wheel clear of the ground and support the axle with an axle stand. Loosen the hubcap using the BPW special tool, part number 03 339-05-040. Remove any wheel nut security devices and store safely for refitment. Remove all wheel nuts. Remove the road wheel and tire. Remove the hubcap, then release the service brake. Remove the hubcap sealing o-ring. Remove the spindle nut locking block and clip. It is advisable to stow this in the hubcap for safety whilst the work on the brake drum is being carried out. Slacken the spindle nut and use this to fully remove the hub and brake drum. Using a copper-faced hammer, remove the wheel studs from the hub and drum assembly. Lift the hub away from the brake drum. Replace the hubcap to protect the hub assembly whilst fitting the new drum and place on a clean surface. Place the new brake drum into position on top of the upturned hub, ensuring that the bolt holes align. Place the wheel studs into position in the holes, making sure that the flat on the head is in line with the raised register on the inside of the brake drum. Using a copper-faced hammer and a drift, drive the wheel studs fully home, ensuring that the flats on the stud heads do not foul on the register. Whilst the drum is new, familiarize yourself with the brake drum wear indicator ridge. When this is worn and no longer visible, then the drum needs to be changed for a new one. Use brake cleaner solution to clean off old grease and fretting corrosion from the spindle end bearing journals. If necessary, use a very fine emery to remove any stubborn areas of fretting corrosion. Apply a thin coating of BPW Eco Li Plus grease to the bearing journals. Reassemble the hub and drum back onto the spindle end, ensuring that the outer thrust washer locates into the stub axle keyway. Tighten the spindle nut whilst rotating the hub. When the nut is tight, rotate it until you hear two loud clicks. This sets the correct adjustment. Ensure that the spindle nut locking block and spring clip are in good condition. Replace them if in doubt. Ensure that the splines on the block engage fully with those on the inside rim of the spindle nut. Ensure that the locking spring is secured around the outside of the flanges on the spindle nut. Check the hubcap o-ring for damage or flat spots. Replace if necessary. Replace it back into the grooves in the hub. Replace the hubcap. Replace the road wheel and reapply the brakes.
use the air spanner to run down the wheel nuts only. They will be tightened with a torque wrench. Use a torque wrench to tighten the wheel nuts to 630 newton meters. Replace any wheel nut security devices. Use a torque wrench to tighten the hubcap to the torque printed on the hubcap rim. Retorque wheel studs in line with the current workshop practices.